I feel like I've been so out of touch with you guys and with just social media in general lately. <clears throat> it's Tuesday today. It is 1 o'clock. I'm actually sitting right outside my doctor's office because... Um, so you guys know that this past weekend I had one of my friend's weddings to go to in um, Santa Cruz, California. It was absolutely amazing. It was so beautiful. It was like in the middle of the woods um, in the mountains and we stayed in tents and cabins um, and it was just so much fun. There was like a bonfire. Um, it was amazing. But my friend Stephanie kind of got sick over the weekend and I actually drank um, after her on Friday. So I was nervous that I was going to come down with the same thing. She thought she had strep. She had like a fever, horrible sore throat. Um, so that was bad. Well, then yesterday, I mean, we got home really, really late Sunday night, like midnight. And um, she went to the doctors yesterday and she told me that she doesn't have strep, but she does have tonsillitis. Um, yesterday I still felt fine. So I was like, Oh, maybe I'm going to get lucky and I'm not going to get it. But then I woke up this morning with a really bad sore throat. It's, it's a little better now. Um, and I don't think I have a fever or like any other symptoms, but a sore throat, but I'm just going to go to the doctors to make sure that I'm okay. As you guys know, I'm turning 30, uh, next Monday and my like birthday celebration is this Saturday. And I just want to be okay for it. I want to be well. So, um, I also am nervous that I'm going to get cam sick or that I already have gotten cam sick. I really hope I haven't, but I don't know. Um, so that's the plan. I'm going to head in here now. Um, but hopefully like it's just, you know, a cold or something. Okay. So I'm back from the doctors. Um, I don't have strep. Uh, so the doctor thinks it's either like allergies or just like a common cold. Um, she doesn't think it's anything serious. So that's good. But, um, my throat is still like hurting really badly so I went to Starbucks and I got one of their medicine ball teas um, and I got one pump of the peppermint syrup in it so I got the huge one so hopefully that will help me throughout the day and then I'm trying their like little um, everything bagel bites I don't know I've never had them before but they looked good and I'm hungry um, I'm about to head home I don't think you guys can see me. For some reason, it's just like I am not getting any light. Hopefully, you guys can see me. Um, I didn't curl my hair, so it looks kind of... I mean, I like it straight, but I like it so much more, so much better when it's curled. So, um, But anyway, I'm going to head home now, and I wanted to show you guys what I'm making for dinner because it's something new. I'm using my crock pot. It's like a Mexican... like. I don't even know what to call it, like a Mexican enchilada casserole thing. I, I don't know. But I'll show you guys like all the ingredients and I'll show you how to make it and then I'll let you guys know if it's any good. I'm starting to make like things for dinner that are kind of out of my comfort zone because Alex and I are just pretty much sick of what I make every week. So here is my tea. I just added extra honey to it. Um, it's got like the two bags in it. I don't know when I'm supposed to take them out. I mean, I know it's like once you think it's flavorful enough, I guess, but I think I'm just going to keep them in there. It's pretty good though. You want to say hi? Say hi. You need a haircut. Say hi. <laughs> what are you looking at? You little funny. I'm trying so hard not to give him kisses because I don't want to get him sick. And it's so hard not to give you kisses. Are you going to give them a kiss? That's so nice. 
That's so nice. Woo! I wanted to mention that my diaper bag backpack is finally back in stock. I know it's been out of stock for a while now, but I just got an email that the black and the beach beige, which is the one I have, are finally back in stock. Um, Vava did change their name. Their new name is now Ryla, so, um, but it's the exact same backpack, same amazing quality and everything. And actually right now they're on a huge discount. So originally they're like $129 each, but right now I think they're $78. Um, let me see. They are, yeah, they're like, they're like around $78 right now, so, um, and they're on pre-order. I did need to mention, they're on, why is this so loud? Sorry. I have to turn down the TV. I'm like trying to catch up on Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> um, but yeah, they are on a huge discount and they are on pre-sale, so you can go ahead and order yours right now. Um, and during the pre-sale, my coupon code actually doesn't work. But once the pre sales over, the coupon code will work um, again. But since they're on huge discount, my coupon code actually doesn't work right now. Um, but I will go ahead and link down below where you can get the backpacks. I know a lot of you guys have been asking me when they're going to go back in stock. So um, I just got the email and I wanted to let you guys know. So you should go check them out. It's my favorite diaper bag backpack. Um, I use it like all the time. So also I wanted to show you guys like the snack I've been eating and it's so yummy. And I'm sorry if you, I hope you guys can hear me. It's so loud outside. They're doing construction literally right outside my house. And it's so loud, like it's just driving me crazy. But anyway, I wanna show you the snack that I've been eating really quickly. It's so good. Um, so it's literally just these Triscuits, which are the balsamic vinegar and basil Triscuits, which are amazing. If you haven't tried them, you need to. And then I just take a little bit of ricotta cheese and just spread it on the Triscuit. And it's so good. You can probably use like mozzarella cheese or anything like that. Like on the side of the box it says um, it's really good with like fresh mozzarella. But I didn't have any so I've just been using this ricotta and it's amazing. Okay so I'm trying to film but this little guy won't let me. So I need to hold him which... I guess we can try and do. I'm just going to show you guys everything, all the ingredients that I have for the crock pot dinner and everything that I'm going to go ahead and put into the crock pot. I have about one and a half pounds of chicken right there. Oh my gosh, Camden <laughs> just threw his ball. Um, I cut up two jalapenos, a red bell pepper, and a green bell pepper. I have one can of corn one can of black beans, and then a can of this Tex-Mex enchilada sauce. So I think this is everything I'm gonna put in the crock pot. Um, I might make some guacamole later or just maybe slice up some avocado to add on top with some cheese and either sour cream or plain Greek yogurt. And then I was thinking about sprinkling some of this on top of the chicken while um, I cook it in the crock pot. So, that is the plan right now. I'm going to cook it on high for four hours and let's get started. So I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> we'll see how this turns out, but I'm just going to like spread the chicken across. I have chicken tenderloins and then some um, chicken breasts that are like thinly sliced. I couldn't, at my grocery store, they didn't have any more chicken breasts left. So this is just what I grabbed, but it's about one and a half pounds. So hopefully it turns out okay. <laughs> Turn it on high for four hours. Okay, there we go. So right now it is 4:46, so it'll be done about 
close to 9 o'clock, which is fine because we don't eat till late. So I will let you guys know what it looks like when it's finished. So it's almost 9.30. So I'm going to go ahead and open this and just see if the chicken and everything is good. excited to eat dinner because I'm starving and um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up some avocado and get out my um, Greek yogurt that I use in place of sour cream but you guys can use sour cream um, if you like I love sour cream I'm just trying to make it a little bit healthier and then I'm also gonna sprinkle some cheese on my tacos I guess that's what you can call them I'm not sure like I don't really know what I'm gonna call this yet it's like a Mexican chicken crock pot dish but you can really make burritos you can make tacos you can just put it in a bowl and make like a burrito bowl you could do anything with it okay so I just got everything ready to top off the tacos um, I picked up these white corn tortillas they're really cute and small I thought these would be good with it here's some four cheese Mexican blend cheese um, I made like guacamole but this isn't really like fresh guacamole I mean it's a fresh avocado and then I just added a little bit of the spice with it um, and I've had it before it's pretty good for just like easy two second guacamole <laughs> and then I'm gonna top it off with some of this Siggy's plain um, yogurt I know earlier I think I said Greek yogurt but I bought this instead which is fine I love Siggy's so this will be my sour cream Okay, so these are my tacos. If you end up trying this recipe, please let me know. Let me know if you tweaked it at all and how you liked it. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you in my next video. I'm not kidding. You guys, that was amazing. I'm actually surprised that this is that good. I'm definitely adding this to my weekly menu. All right, guys, I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye.